Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixel Martyrs here, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Where we left off, there's a door at our, there's, there's, there's something at our door. There's a door at our something. There's a door there's at our door. There's something <laughs> at our door. <laughs> After we, we pretty much spent a lot of last time, it was a lot of hanging out, a little bit of development. You know, we've got the new talker going around, and then we've got... Byakuya trying to come in and figure out what's going on. And I was thinking afterwards, that I think it's kind of interesting to see if they'll... I don't know if they're going to even try and do something like this, but, you know, obviously he's trying to stay on his own because he's like, you know, he doesn't want to be involved people. He's just playing his game on his own. But to be fair, it's dangerous to be on your own from a group because when you do that, like what's happening now is that you separate yourself from knowing what's going on in the first place. Yeah. You don't know the changes of things that are going on. You don't know how Taka's become a different person. You don't... Like, you keep yourself away from the situation. You don't know what to look out for. No. So, you know, it's not the smartest move to just straight up. It, yeah, it's not smart. It's not a smart move to just straight up cut yourself off because then you have no information. Like you do now, you little dipshit. <laughs> but we're going to see what's happening now. So let's, uh, I guess, go check out our door. It is a piece of paper. I had a feeling it was going to oh. be some kind of note. Oh, it's right there. Hey. This piece of paper looks like someone must have something under my door. Meet in the dining hall with an exclamation point. Huh. The handwriting is really good. Yeah. But to want to meet up so suddenly? Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. <laughs> we try. We, 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 we try to, to survive a, a potential murder. No, <laughs> We're about to get bobbed. It's going to do a character switch in the middle of the game. Oh my it's going to get murdered and switch to a different person. All right, dining hall. Who's 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 who who who's Whoms. here? Who is it? Whom's the fuck has called us to murder? Us? Is Hello? it Toko? No, a hand. Oh. Oh my god. Who would have good handwriting? An author. Hero? But... The letter I found in my room. You know? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Well, I was taught that if you had bad penmanship, ghosts would come and haunt you. Oh. Who taught you that? And why'd you want to meet with me? Hmm. I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually, I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say, late? What do you say to a late night bath session? Ah. Oh. You know? Okay, let's do it. No, I. I saw the last here grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. For serious. It's all an act, so the master won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. Ah. Uh. What? Then did Alter Ego finish his search? You got to hear. Let's go take a dip together. That's probably louder <laughs> than I needed to be. Me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. Whoa. Jesus Christ, you stand like a sore thumb. Yeah, he does. God damn it, Taka. Fix the microphone. There we go. As soon as I got into the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you. Hey, <laughs> you. How long were you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the ears. He stared pointlessly at his wristwatch. <laughs> It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? The time for all the good little boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Sh shut up. Uh. What? What'd you say? Do you want to make me cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka? He seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow personality. Oh. What? You got a little poop fawn out of your mouth of yours, you know that? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. You well, welcome back to the regular world, Toko. Oh. <laughs> Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Me either. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, come on. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? My messenger duty is complete. Hey, you want us? You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? It's an obvious disguise. Have something to do with alter ego, right? That's right. Yeah, totally. Did he find? Did he find a clue? What is it? A way out? The master my true identity? No. This ain't good. The silence is not good. Where? Where are you? There you are. Hey, what's 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 the down low? What's the low down? It's That's gone. The... You gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered alter ego. The laptop has disappeared. What? No way! You're kidding, right? Oh, um... That, what? She's... gone? You should be more concerned about this, sir. Yeah. You can't be fudging serious. What'd you do with him? Hmm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. 
I told Alterigo oh. to yell if anyone <clears throat> didn't rec if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have altered us. Alert <laughs> altered us. <laughs> Alerted us. Well. Alter egoed us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we just missed it? However, I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then <laughs> this is maybe it's obvious. It could have only been him. Especially Shimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? what? I'm the moral compass. I could never do something like that. You're not the moral compass right now anymore, though. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't think it counts when you say it, say it about yourself like that. F you. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. Wow. Hey, hey, you. Show us what you know. This is my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about him. Wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Wrong, it's you. For serious. <laughs> well, I'm sure it was one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Oh, why not? So... I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. Even louder than a stranger. Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. I'm looking at Byakuya. But... <laughs> then, who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, it wasn't Taka or Fumi. Then quite simply, it was someone- Good deduction! Oh, good if job! If it's not Ooh. Taka, and not Hifumi, and not the mastermind, then someone did it! Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. Good job! Good list. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to steal Arsul Ego? Alter Ego, I can't even talk. <laughs> How about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the mastermind. A spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might actually be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? Oh, shut up! I don't care! I don't care who <laughs> someone, anyone. Save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see you smiling face again. Oh my Damn god, it. dude. Oh Same no. Same here. How many of those do I have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give them back. So, um... This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. That is I a see. good point. Yeah. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm going to get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear I will save her! Using the power of love. Okay. Oh boy, is this oh. gonna be the nighttime? And, well, wait, did we already have? I can't remember because it's a new recording session. I don't think we have. <clears throat> okay, so it's the school announcement. It 10 p.m. It's the nighttime. The doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay, okay, then. Sweet dreams. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Hmm. It's nighttime. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone gets to sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you if you are too tired? You'll be much more effective after a good night's sleep. She has a point. Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to yeah, notice. Yeah, because like no one's out at night, so he's gonna be yeah. like, "What is happening?" <laughs> and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. <laughs> he's fine. 
Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. Hm. You should think about what I said. Some may very well be spying for the mastermind. Is it you? I mean, if it was him, I don't think he would out himself just like that. No. Too f forwardly before anyone even thinks about that. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We'd finally discovered some small measure of hope. But even that was taken away from us. And we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like... Just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could it really be working for the mastermind? If that's true... No, it can't be! There's no way! I didn't realize it yelled out loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is... The idea that we're starting to dart e stout, starting to dart, starting to <laughs> doubt each other again. Goodness. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! It's Hina. <laughs> no, God, don't. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'll cry. <laughs> I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Long before I fell into a restless sleep, and I had dreams of Monokuma again. You, did you say long before I fell into restless sleep? It's before long. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. You, you can't read. <laughs> no, I've never been able to. Uh -oh. But <laughs> murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Okay. Hmm. Ding dong, bing bong. Hello. Where are you? There you are. Good morning, everyone. It's yeah, isn't shine. Beautiful day. All right, get off my screen. Is he always holding a drink like that? Yeah. <laughs> I've never noticed. <laughs> I always look right at his face, probably this way. <laughs> Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me... Uh-oh. It's a small group of people. Yeah. Is this it? What happened to the others? Hmm. Aren't they coming? Uh-oh. There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However. Anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. Okay. There's like six people missing. Yeah. And, you know, there's the... Toko and Byaku are never going to show up. So that leaves four people missing. Huh. I mean, you can only Ifumi, kill two. Ifumi, Taka. Ifumi, Taka. We got... Celeste! Celeste. And then, uh... Hero? Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. So we just had to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited... Um... So, it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Jesus Christ, really? Um, why haven't the others come? Because, I mean... Hero and Celeste have missed a day... Have, have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Fumi and Taka. Yeah. They're more eager than anyone to look at for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive? Oh, yeah. Ten million dollars. Ten million Ten big ones. Ten million dollars. Ding, 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 ding. I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's like totally You skipped it. <laughs> I, 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 just, I, right? I mean, we already heard it before. Yeah. So. Ugh, come on. Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and I hated that I did. You can never really know another, person's compl another person completely. Anything can happen here and you don't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. Your girl's safe. 
Well, yes. two of them are. Yeah, it's Kyoko, yeah. My, my, one of my girls is here. As long as they're not killers. Celeste is not here. <laughs> that worries me. Yeah, I mean, we're, um, we're down. Everyone missing. I mean, because I had assumed that, I mean, not counting Byakuya and Toko, it's, it's a 25% chance of, yeah. of someone being dead. We can of, cover of more ground dead. if we split up. Sarakura? Sakura? You Sarakura? Go check, so, <laughs> shut up. I didn't have my coffee yet. Sakura, <laughs> you can check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. She's so cute. I know. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well, then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Oh boy. Alright. Okay, need to look around the first floor. Alright, let's take a look. Maybe we'll find nothing. Maybe another floor. Maybe we'll find something. We'll find. I mean, there's still a chance for two people to be dead, so. There's nothing in here, so. Let's get the heck out of this classroom. Uh. Oh, where, oh, where have our friends gone? Oh, where, oh, where could they be? I mean, if I'm Byakuya dead, I won't mind on that no. one. No. I'll be, I'll be celebrating at that point. Yeah. But chances are we hate him so much. He's... Uh-oh. I'm not sure who that was. That probably sounded like a Hina scream. Maybe? What? That yeah. was Hina. She's supposed to be so, checking... Someone, come here! The third floor. There's no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. She found someone. It's in the rec room. Uh-oh. Oh, no. There's only two people to hang in the rec room all the time. That Hero is... Hero and Celeste. Hero and Celeste. Oh, no. I flipped the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please. M Makoto. You know what's wrong? It's awful. The rec room door was open. And when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I'd better get the others, right? I, I'm i going to go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What did she see in there? Was it a pony? <laughs> By this point, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. Oh boy. The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... Oh are dear! You, Celeste, are you okay? Oh my god! It was Celeste and she was hurt. Oh, are, 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 are you... Are Celeste! You okay? Okay, there's a sword on the, there's a mallet on the ground, so I'm Did gonna talk to you just first. Trying to kill but... her? Uh, Makoto. C Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by who? Uh, I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? Uh, a suspicious person whose existence is so unusual. I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. Can I get specifics? <laughs> and that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Uh, okay. Let's look at the hammer quick. What is this? Whoa. Some kind of wooden hammer or something? Pretty strange design. And there's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer 1? What? That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1? No, no. There they are. <laughs> Makoto Celeste, I found Sakura! What? C Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A uh, strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Details, please, yes. Uh, well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I... I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door. 
which is when he noticed me, and, mm. and that's when you were attacked. Uh. It happened after 7 a.m., just after just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock... Then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. Uh. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? As for me... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. So you were willing to throw away all your pride? Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. So that's, what do you mean by a serious problem? He could kill someone. Okay. <laughs> when I looked in the rep room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Hifumi. Uh... Hi Hifumi? Okay. After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Uh. Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Wait, you have the camera! That's right, you took the oh, camera, yeah. remember? Show us? Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph <clears throat> the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it! <clears throat> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. That uh, strange comment of mind, we all looked at the camera. I. Yeah, wait, what? 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 Hey. What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Um. Is that a, a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual. Yes. So this weird robot guy dragged Hafumi away. And I took this right after being attacked. I've never seen her so shaken up like that. It's weird. Uh, yeah. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but... Hmm. The hmm. point is, someone dressed like that and dragged Hifumi away. Something important to think about here is the fact that R and J are painted on the shoulders there. Which has to mean something, but I don't know what. Because mm. that's obviously not part of the costume. That was added afterwards. Yeah. So it's going to be important in some aspect. But. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second. This is bad. We have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. When they left the red room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed towards the stairs leading down to the second floor. And then he must be down there, right? The second floor. That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. But speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um, sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. Oh shit. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. Uh oh. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and went down to the second floor. Don't know who that is. That's probably. Uh, well. I, I, that's just a good what? question. It is him. I had a feeling. Oh, yeah. He's probably just sitting in the library like, what the <laughs> fuck? What's going on? What's all the fuss? <laughs> yeah, you guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have you ever seen Kyoko or Hafumi? You've got to be kidding. Nope, nope. Sure haven't. <laughs> are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. Heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. Uh -huh. We came here together. Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. <laughs> Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. God damn it. Okay. Hifumi! Kyoko! If you can hear me, say something! Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Oh. Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. <laughs> Buck is like, no, wait, that's my area. Don't you dare <laughs> open that door. When we open the door to the library. Uh-oh. 
Oh. Um, well, you've got blood on your head. Yeah. But you're not dead. Shame. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. We found a Fumi seriously injured. Are, are you okay? Um, I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> it's super bad though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? <laughs> that guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. It, that's why I decided to call him just now. What What did you say? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, uh, boy. What, uh, what, uh, what? Another thing on the floor? Okay, the? well, we'll talk to him, but... Is that the same... Is that another hammer? Yeah. <laughs> that guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you are referring to is... This, is it not? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> I know, right? But that was a funny line coming from him. This is the one that attacks Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? Mm. Yeah, that's him. I'm He's unforgivable. That's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. It can't be. Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. All right, there's a hammer on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. There's just a, there's hammer number two. It's a hammer just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is Justice Hammer Two. What is on happening? top of that? This one is actually a little bigger than the first oh, one. Oh no! What's oh no? If they keep getting bigger, we're gonna find someone dead. Uh, probably. Yeah. He died with the hammer. He bugged me right in the head with it. Well, a hammer that big, I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Hey, protein helps seal wounds, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? Oh, God. Oh, Didn't hey. expect to see you Welcome here. To the party. It's him. <laughs> a robot of justice, huh? Now things are starting to get really exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? No. Uh, oh, and he's gone I, just I, as fast. Why is he here? Are you okay with this? <clears throat> Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We moved to film to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. I'm worried that a Justice Hamburger number three has come down on either Taka or Hero, and they are dead. I I think it's gonna be Hero. I don't think I think Taka still has a lot with his now with his powers combined. As it be, uh. there's a lot more he can use with him. Where and for the most part, I mean. Cause it wouldn't make sense to have that that kind of side per se of him show up and then him be yeah. dead. To be fair, we never got to know him about the psychic aspect of Sayaka, so you never yeah. know. But this is your line. How you feeling, for me? Want me to take a look at the? Want me to take a look at you? Um, I I'm okay. I think he stopped bleeding. I still got a dizzy though. So then. Perhaps you should rest here a while. I suppose. yeah, good idea. Well. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Indeed, before another victim appears. The Justice Hammers seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So, in other words... If there's a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure! That's what I was thinking. Tell us what happened to you, Afumi. Um... Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for alter ego ahead of everyone else. Dude. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must be when, what I witnessed around 7 this morning. Wow. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means he and Asakura and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Yeah. His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. Okay. <laughs> Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking. Anyways, that means Byaki and Toka were together at the time. 
when they also have alibis. The only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked are... The only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up, he up there at all. Uh-oh. Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. But hold on! Do Kiko's you think she's in the dining the hall was less than if we were attacked, so... <laughs> I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words, I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the Mastermind's spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the Mastermind? That's not possible! What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even realized her true identity. Revealed. Hey. Revealed her true identity. Got him! So bad at work. Realized? Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Hmm. So whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for reason from a deviant. What to do? What to do? <laughs> <laughs> so what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Huh. Our opponent is very dangerous if we don't know we don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Really? Uh, Up on the second floor then? Damn. You bastard! You won't get away from me! We all shot towards the stairs. Oh boy. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and quarter him. Well. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh. Okay, but what should we yell? Tomato! Just a second. <laughs> Anything, it doesn't matter. Yell donut, I don't so care. Then. <laughs> then is ha okay. I'm fine for donut. I vote for What's donut. Ha or doya or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> doya, I have never heard such a reaction. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya! We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Oh boy, oh boy. Women's restroom! This is the girl's bathroom. Even though this is an emergency, I can't go with. Okay. Oh, fuck. Men's room! Well, looks like it, unless this door has holds a secret. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I need anything to Okay, never mind. I Nothing. guess that doesn't matter. Alright, let's leave. Oh! Uh... A strange cry! That had to be Celeste! Came from the floor above, she's on the third floor! Spread up to the third floor! Everyone! Over here, everyone! Everyone heard the scream and come running! Just a second. Celeste, what's wrong?! What? What was that rather intense scream for someone like you? <laughs> I saw him! The strange, cost the strange costumed man! He ran off as soon as I screamed! was blocking off the stairs, so I headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He, mu he must be oh, down this it. hall. Come on, let's go. <laughs> She's just like, huh, huh. <laughs> What is it now? Oh. Oh, and now she's back to normal. <laughs> huh? Huh? Wow, it's really true. That doesn't matter right now. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, was a Fumi. Yeah. Huh? What, what was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... If Fumi, he's in the nurse's office. This is back. Well, we gotta go back. What? What about the suspect? We're going through all this trouble to capture him, right? Hmm. Then why don't we split up into two groups? It's all clear now. I'll lead the hunting party. This seems much more interesting. So then... Very well. Then Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. Oh, yeah. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Byakuya. So then... We'll handle it. Just go take care of Ifumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me and Celeste all ran downstairs God, to the first is, floor. what is this wild goose chase happening? I was about to say, there's like two Just things going on. He's in the nurse's office. Let's go. 
Probably shouldn't have left him unattended. We stoned him in the office office and what greeted us he was... Did. A world of dripping crimson. Oh boy. Oh dear. Everything was covered in red. And in the center of all the red was... Ifumi? No! Ah! It, it looks like something very bad has happened. Uh, it's still you. I was certainly not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. No way! M murdered You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? Well, well, there's the confirmation. Well. Hmm. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the? <laughs> that was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. Now, I want to say something quick. So, Takahiro and Kyoko are all unaccounted for. Now, but I don't Taka know what this means. And Hiro, we haven't seen at all. No. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on, but between the whole accomplice thing and all that, I just want to say that. Hifumi is the one that loved the art department. Mm -hmm. Now, I doubt they're just keeping a mech suit around in this school. And yeah. it seems also like there are various parts that are handmade. And I think when you look at the hammers, they kind of look a little handmade too. And, like, Hifumi's the one that knows that stuff. Yeah, but he didn't even, like, recognize it as anything, though. He's like, I'm gonna call it Robo- ro or whatever. No, Robo I, Justice for now. or whatever. I think Hifumi made it. And I was gonna say the fact that the blood on him was fake, too. And I think that somehow, for some reason, he might have an accomplice of some sort. But now, I don't know dead. why. Here's what you have to remember. The by discovery announcement goes off when three people have found a dead body. What are the chances that a real dead body is upstairs that was found? And Afumi has used makeup to make himself look dead down here. Why would he do that? To to take to take everything off of him. Potentially he 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 or his accomplice has already killed someone. And then this whole thing has been potentially a ruse. Maybe. Cause like, look at his face. I mean, we're gonna go into more of this. So let's see if there's if there's actually any yeah. anything to this. But when three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. Do so you think the timing is just coincidence? Potentially, because there's three other people that could have also found a dead body. Mm. So, since we just heard it, that means it must mean Ifumi. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us. And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. The hammer! Is it three? Another hammer. Just yeah. the same with three. Just the same with three. But it's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected, one strike from that and you are finished. Then the killer... You there mean? can be no doubt. The suspicious individual, going by what Hifumi called him, the culprit must be Robo Justice. Robo Justice! Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> no. Who, especially in her voice. Yeah. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But wait. You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall? So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they like teleported or something, right? Are you okay with this? We can figure that part out later. Right now we have to tell the others. Y you're right. So then. then shall we go? Oh! <sighs> Hina, snap out of it. Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. S sorry, I'm not sure I can move right now. I I'm feeling kind of... Hmm. This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. I'll carry her! 
<laughs> okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. Very well. I leave it to you then. We're going to run into them on the second floor and they're going to be like, guys, we found a body. Yeah. It's like, what? Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and not beat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling for what I'd just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to go hurry. This is where everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to find them and there's going to be someone dead there's there. There's going to be a dead body up top. And we're going to go back and he's going to be okay. <laughs> no, I don't think he's going to... Grant, he could also be dead, but that would throw off the... Th if there's two killers, I don't know how we would go about that if there's two killers at the same time. But uh -huh. you're enough going further down the hallway. Way into the back of the Well, hallway. you're saying Ifumi's faking yeah. it right now, right? Yeah, like, I don't think he's just going to get back up right now, though. I think he's going to wait a little bit if he is faking his own death. Art department, how is this? Is he the art department or the other area? Not the art department. Nothing Unless here. Unless in the closet. The depository? Something like that? How many? There's one, two, there's four hammers missing. Oh, boy. There's four hammers missing. We're about to find a second body. Did you call no it a deposit? <laughs> I thought I thought that's what they called it in the map. Repository. That, that 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 makes sense. Run for justice. Wait. If there's four way. hammers, then that means that there's a fourth. Ha that's, that's an even bigger hammer. There's a big boy. Is this a double murder thing happening? I think it it, it could be a double murder actually. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. I still feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence. Is it coming from over there? In the back? What? Well, in the back room. Oh. I looked through the doorway, and when I did, I found another nightmare. Oh boy. The second nightmare of the day that was waiting there to greet me. Oh. Oh, shit. There in a pool of his own blood was Taka, dead. Oh boy. Hey, hero. <laughs> oh, boy. End of the deadly life aspect. Boy, we got two things to go uh, about. Afumi's body discovered in the nurse's office. Duck is body discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. No, they weren't nightmares. This is harsh reality. Poor Taka. The true nightmare is the reality. This reality, the reality <laughs> I have to face every day. But still. Why is this happening? Oh, and she's out cold because yep. she saw blood. <laughs> <sighs> See, it went off because they found. Yeah. Um, that's a big hammer. Dang. Oh, oh boy. Well, you know what? We're going to. Oh, poor thing. She's just we're gone. Gonna, we're going to go over all this next time. I mean, at least that was, you know, instant death, I would think. Yeah? Like, you're you're not... Well, yeah, you're, I you're bet gone. that hammer fucking hurt yeah. real bad. But only for a split second, then you didn't feel anything. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. I mean... Oh. You're with your bro now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta look at the bright side somehow. I suppose. 